it is one of the studies I'm very proud about because it's a long, long lasting study, a retrospective study where we provide clear evidence about some differences between the two drugs. Both drugs are really fantastic and they offer a lot in controlling the disease activity of patients in the long term. However, it came out that natalizumab in particular may have some, uh, let's say, uh, better, uh, um, uh, higher effectiveness in some aspects compared to uh, fingolimod. We anyway know quite well that this monoclonal antibody, natalizumab, is really a fantastic drug, and it was an an, an, an amazing innovation, the time it was discovered and it was incorporated in our everyday clinical practice, particularly for the highly active uh, MS, uh, MS patients. Uh, of course, as we all know, the major concern about this uh, uh, treatment is the possibility of, uh, of, uh, of having PML, uh, which is a devastating disorder for sure. However, we have right now very uh, uh, strong and reliable tools in our hands in order to provide this particular treatment to our patients in a safe way. So I, with, our, with this study, we have recently published, we don't claim that one drug is better than the other for sure, but what we wanted to provide are some differences that uh, where natalizumab is, was at least in our cohort of uh, patients uh, um, um, superior compared to fingolimod. However, what we expect is that from these clinical observations, we probably uh, um, light, uh, give a light to future studies in order to see better and better, deeper and deeper in, in the disorder in, in multiple sclerosis itself about potential mechanisms that uh, might be highlighted due to this differential, let's say, effect of these really pioneer drugs. Because what we really, uh, uh, one, one thing that uh, we very much appreciate the drugs we have in our hands is that they fully uncovered pathways and mechanisms that wouldn't be identified without the effect of these particular of these particular drugs. So this is the the point where I I, I would I would um, uh, more focus in the value of this recent study, despite of course the practical, let's say, usefulness it may have for the clinicians in their everyday clinical practice.